Hey guys, it's Trekit. Um, I said last time that maybe I'll try to, or maybe it was in a message on YouTube. I can't remember if I said it or not, but I was going to try and show a little bit of the, the actual work towards the 99th Cape. Um, this is one of the alternative places you can get fire making experience, which is the Cape I'm working on now. Um, basically, um, this area is being corrupted. You see the, the different mutated vines versus the standard vines. And uh, these are the, the normal didis, the citizens of this area are denizens, and this is the queen. Um, basically, you can go into one of these rooms and cut down uh, these curly vines, which everybody calls them curly roots. And when you cut them, um, it gives you uh, some experience in wood cutting, and then you get uh, four curly roots from it. And then you take the roots and you throw it in this fire pit, and it gives you 400 fire making experience per root. So basically, it's a quick way to get experience without having to actually cut and burn trees so you can save your maple logs or your other logs for other activities. And it also gives you favor points, which you can take and trade in for uh, seeds and uh, teleport port squirrels that will get you to this area quicker instead of having to walk all the way over here. So I uh, just wanted to show you all a little bit of the skill itself. Um, the other primary way of um, getting skill at this level is just basically standing at a bank and taking out a stack of logs and then burning them. So I figured this is a little bit more hands-on. I prefer doing this if I'm not doing something where I need to be multitasking so um, it's just you know something different to do figured I'd show y'all what I what I've been doing for the last few days uh, working on this skill trying to get my next cape I'll talk to you later bye hey everybody it's Dracket. Um time for my level 99 fire making skill um, this time I'm just hanging out in the forest next to the uh, the fire uh, arsonist guy over here that likes to light fires all over this forest for some reason. Um, he's the guy you get the cape from, so I figured I'd just save time and start over by him. I've got uh, three of the logs from wood cutting. I'm saving one just in case there ends up being something else later that you can do with the log. Um, but these three should get me there. I'm going to do a, a clan chat and then light the logs and uh, be 99. So here it goes. There we go, got 99 on the first log. I thought I'd even have to do at least uh, two or three. Um, but uh, another 99 down. Um, this one was a little bit easier because you get quite a bit more experience. And then also um, where I was doing that, Jadinkos, uh, they give really good experience for fire making. Uh, let me get the cape now. Uh, trade it over here. 99,000 for another cape. I think just one is good. They always throw the hood in for free. Let's see if get in a little bit of a clearing to do the cape. There we go. Take off the bow this time so it's a little bit easier to see. So there's my new cape. And in my uh, new skill cape animation, I guess I get to play with fire. It's real noisy too, I guess. Doing it again. There we go. Another uh, fire. Another 99 down. Fire making. I'm not sure about my next one. Um, thinking right now I'm planning on just doing uh, getting all my skills up to 60 and then all of them up to 70 
Um, and then after that, I'll probably decide what to do next. So it might be a little while before I get another one. But we'll see. Talk to you all later. Thanks for watching.